What's that? If our classroom is truly world class, let's get started, folks. Perhaps it should look like the rest of the world. Yes. With the tools you might be used to seeing everywhere outside of the classroom. There's a really cool diagram on the second website down. So it really should be no surprise that in John McKinney's science classroom in Mountain Ridge, where the focus is on the way our world works. It's like outer space. Nice, Chase. The way learning works and the way research works yeah. happens with the students taking charge, oftentimes with their cell phones. It almost doesn't make sense, does it? How are we doing, gang? Figured out what it does here. They're figuring out this mystery item at the front of the room. What it does, how it works. They're Googling, collaborating, challenging one another with their findings. Just a small part of a vision the Douglas County School District presented last December with the personally owned devices, or pods, initiative. Ultimately, we're working on trying to create those 21st century learners and technology is just one avenue to achieve that. The idea behind pods is to empower students to use their own devices as learning tools in the classroom. And if you can't think of how those devices will actually help with the learning, we're happy to give you a tour of everything happening on just one late summer day in our district. Over at Mountain Ridge, there's market research in the classroom of science teacher Ellie Faust. Cell phones on the table act as timers while cell phones in the field record evidence of an experiment for more accurate documentation. Outside, Alan Savage's field research students, you can just barely see them while they're using pods to capture images and video of wildlife. While back at the lab, the woe happens back in Mr. McKenney's classroom when they finally figure out that mystery item is a vacuum pump and then they see it in action. That comes later. Oh, old balloons. And it's not only at Mountain Ridge either. Right, up until now, the policy, school's policy has actually been no cell phones, no devices in the classroom. And it's a real shift of thinking that we're now moving to. Shawnee Fordham's Rock Canyon juniors and seniors aren't playing hooky from class. They're taking a practice quiz. Yep, with their own devices. There's also a set of classroom laptops for those without their own. It's a computer lab without leaving the science lab a classroom they can take home with them on their pods. We're extending the four walls of our classroom. None of it would happen without that DCSD vision. The district's IT team and school technicians like Manny Gonzalez. He helped rebuild Rock Canyon's Wi-Fi infrastructure to support all those cell phones and two new mobile learning apps. You'll see the, the collaboration, especially in this classroom where the kids are just hovering over the devices. Um, they get it, and, and it's great that our staff is getting it. Students um, have grown up on technology. That's what they know. That's what they understand. And so allowing them to learn in a way that works for them and allowing them to access all sorts of technology that you would use in the real world. It's empowering students. It helps me learn because uh, it's like right at your fingertips. Who work together to push the curriculum further than the textbooks would ever take them. One person can look up something while the other person looks up a different thing or you can both search the same thing and you'll get different results and so you can like exchange information faster and quicker. It's really nice. Cell phones, iPads, laptops in the classroom. Hey guess what? They're not taboo anymore. They're all world class, and it's happening in Douglas County. We need to be ready globally and compete globally, and I think that's what Douglas County is saying by going with the pot initiative, that we're ready to compete globally. We want our kids to be globally um, competitive in the marketplace.